Here comes Mr. Grant on his 10th time around. <laughs> I just gave everybody their meds. So he'll probably go back to sleep here shortly. Everybody's been outside two times, got their breakfast, got their medicine. It is 9.35. This is the time I make myself breakfast and then I've got to clean the house because this weekend we, I was busy planting flowers, cleaned up the garage, Put our pool up, let me show you that. In case you're a new viewer, my little pool on the deck. So I can lay in it and get some sunshine and just float around and relax. That's my relaxing time. <laughs> it's too cold still, but we at least got it up and filled up. Um, yeah, and I planted some flowers. I said I cleaned the garage. What else did I do? Clean my my car out. Um, did nothing in the house but dishes, cook dinner. Um, so today I've got to really do some deep cleaning. That's what I do on Monday. So I planted some flowers out here. And you see that little schnauzer garden statue that's out there? I put that out there. I found it last year at Hobby Lobby. I had it on my porch, so I thought I'd put it out in my flowers. I put that out there. <laughs> the boys barked off and on. Where are all the boys? Oh, here's one. Here's Max. They barked off and on for a half an hour at that thing, thinking it was, a, I don't know what they thought it was, a rodent, a, what they thought it was out there. <laughs> but it was something new out there, and they were going to bark at it incessantly. Incessantly. Sorry, can't speak this morning. There's Mozzie back there. Mozzie has a vet appointment today. Not today, Wednesday. Has an appointment Wednesday for his full blood work, urine test, blood pressure check, and get an exam. Um, and I just noticed they've put um, cones out on the road. Let me show you. So that means something's going on today out there. I know they're supposed to be re repaving the road out here. But I don't think that's starting yet. So I don't know what's going on. So that should be fun when there's some road workers out front. Their dogs are going to be barking like crazy. <laughs> oh, number 11. Number 11. <laughs> Grant yesterday was really, um, he was really confused. He would stop and lean into the corners of the wall and just kind of lean there with his head. Um, he was getting stuck in a lot of places. If you noticed, I moved his playpen over here because it was blocking the windows over here for Mozzie to, um, watch the little chipmunk that runs back and forth from the bird feeder to our downspout over here. And he sits on the porch and it was blocking Mozzie's view. He loves to sit here and watch the little chipmunks. So I moved it out here. So I had to put Mr. Grant in there a couple times because I was scared he was going to hurt himself. I, I just put him in there so when he's doing his pacing sometimes when I can't watch him, I put him in there so I know he's not getting stuck in corners or whatever could happen. Um, he was having a lot of problems with his legs. He's been really weak in the legs. Um, just all things of getting older and having the canine cognitive dysfunction, which is like doggy dementia. Um, yeah, he was really struggling yesterday, but today he seems a lot better. So it's just day by day with Mr. Grant. Yes. Every day, um, is a blessing to have with Mr. Grant because he's had a lot of struggles. He's been having a lot of struggles. I don't talk a lot about, um, some of that stuff with the doggy dementia, but, uh, he seems to be getting around a lot better today. Yeah. You're doing a lot better today, Grant. Oh, he's turning back around. Probably because I'm in his way. Um, I noticed yesterday on the porch I had some cushions out. And I had moved one in the shade. And it was where he does his pacing when he's outside on the porch. 
And because that cushion was in his way, he was so confused. So, um, it's a good thing that I don't, I'm not one of those people who moves furniture around or puts a lot of stuff. There's not a lot of stuff on the floor, just some dog toys. <laughs> so, Mr. Grant doesn't have new obstacles in his way in the house. So, um, probably because I was standing there the way he paces. That's why he turned back around. Here he comes. Because I was standing right there. That's why he turned around. So we got to keep everything picked up and in order for Mr. Grant to do his pacing. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm going to get to cleaning. We'll check in a little bit later. Okay, I'm getting started later than I wanted to. It's almost noon already. I had a couple phone calls. Um, my daughter called, my husband called, so let's get to cleaning this kitchen. Okay, that didn't take much time at all. That took me maybe 20 minutes to pick up the kitchen, wipe the counters, get the dishes put away, put the new dirty dishes in, dust, um, straighten up, pick up some stuff in the um, dining room and living room. Left the dogs out a couple times and I see another one coming. <laughs> didn't take much time at all when you keep your house clutter free. Um, I got a new product to try out. It's a cordless vacuum cleaner. This video is not sponsored. I'm making no money off of this video. Um, I was just sent the product for free to try out and give my honest opinion on it. So I'm going to open this up, get it together. All we've got left to do is sweep and mop the floors. Well, I got the vacuum all put together and here's an up close of it. The, it comes with this cool little charging station where you can put all the tools on there too so everything's nice and neat together for you. And then you just plug the um, plug for the charging station into an outlet. You plug it in back here or you can plug it straight into the battery which is right here um, if you don't want to use this charging station. Then you just pull the vacuum off the charging station and you're ready to go. That's kind of nice. I like that. I have a shark cordless. Um, it doesn't come with a little charging station like this. So this vacuum is going to live in my upstairs. Um, so this is not the permanent spot for it. I'm just charging it up so I can try it out. Let me show you the name of the company. Um, not sure how to pronounce it. Miracle? Miracle? I'm not sure. <laughs> Comes with this nice user guide, very easy to use, um, very easy instructions of how to put together. 
Um, the only thing I had to do was screw this piece here that the plug plugs into, into the base. There was four screws that came with it and an Allen wrench. Um, easy to screw on. Everything else just snapped together. So yeah, this is really nice. And it comes with a furniture duster. So you can attach this to it and um, dust off like TV stands, cabinets, stuff like that. Also comes with, oops, I'm putting it on wrong. This little piece here to replace this. So you can do your, you just connect it to this piece here. Do your furniture. I'll show you that when I, after it's charged um, and how to use it. And then it comes with this attachment here too for dusting. I feel like I'm missing a piece. I feel like I'm missing a piece because there's another spot here. So I need to get go look in the box again. Maybe I didn't get everything out. <laughs> I think there's another attachment. So I need to look for it. But yeah, so far, really nice. Easy to put together. Just need to get it charged up and try it out. Mr. Grant's up from his mid-morning nap. Do you need to go outside? Do you need to go outside? Hmm? Let me get him outside real quick. All right, got him outside. I have to carry him down the stairs now. I don't like him going down the stairs by himself. Yes, Miggy. Not time to play yet. I'm still busy cleaning. I'm still busy cleaning. <laughs> so I checked in the box and there isn't another attachment. Um, you go potty, Grant. Um, and I looked at, you gotta go out? Come on. This is what takes the longest of cleaning. Letting dogs in and out, in and out. <laughs> I looked at the, um, what's in the box and I have everything. So that spot just must be a extra spot on there. This is what I'm talking about right here. Just to have. So, um, I've got all the attachments. For some reason I was thinking I was missing one. So. We're gonna let this charge. And I know some people, I wanted to mention, I know some people don't like these review videos, but I don't do many of these uh, review videos. Uh, I don't do sponsorships. I don't do stuff like that because I know a lot of people don't like them. But when you got seven dogs and two kitties <laughs> and you've got grass coming in and out of the house, dirt, kitty hair, my dogs don't really shed. Marley sheds the most out of all of them, which is, very minimal the other dogs don't really um and the only time marley really has some hair that comes out is when i blow drying him um so i don't the dogs don't shed um but the kitties do so when you've got nine animals total in the house the floors get dirty and when someone says hey let me send you this vacuum for free to try out and give us your opinion i'm gonna say yes <laughs> I don't do it for many products, but for a product that is very helpful in this household, oops, <laughs> I'm going to say yes. So I hope you guys don't mind this video. All right, let me let that charge up and then we'll try it out. All right, the battery is charged on the vacuum. So we're going to start with the couches, which you can see some kitty litter on here some grass more kitty litter because kitten likes to lay on the couch here um this is usually where the three beds are i'm gonna wash them there's some more dirt some grass <laughs> so we're gonna start with the handheld option with the little thing on it on the front so we can vacuum up the couch here it is with the attachment so I can vacuum the couch off. This is pretty, I mean, it's not real heavy, but it's heavy. So if you're an older person and may not have a lot of strength in your arms, you're not going to be able to use this because um, with that battery on it, it makes it pretty heavy. So just be aware of that if you're thinking about buying a cordless vacuum. The top part of the vacuums are pretty heavy because of the battery being on there. So just something to think about um, if you're thinking of getting a cordless vacuum. Do you guys gotta go out now? Do you really have to go out when I'm about to vacuum? 
You gotta go out too. You probably should so you can get off the couch. Come on, let's go out. I already picked up the throw rugs, the runners here, so I can get that vacuumed. All right, go outside. Miggy's already out there. Miggy, <laughs> Miggy wants to play. He thinks I'm coming out. Sorry, Miggy, later on. <laughs> oh my goodness, all right. Now I may have to mute the sound or turn it down a little bit because this will probably be loud, but let's, let's try this out. Now, I can't remember what this button's for. Let me see, let me turn it on. Okay, I know what it's for. The amount of suction you want. So if you want less suction, your battery's gonna last longer. This is for higher powered suction, uh, the plus sign. That's what it's for. Okay, let's get this vacuumed. We're going to have it in the middle. All right, guys, sorry for the awful lighting, but let's get this dining room and living room floor vacuumed, and then we'll vacuum the kitchen floor. Look at this, guys. Look at all that grass and hair. It had great suction. And I'll have to say, too, look at kitties up here. Tripod, that's how I was filming. <laughs> My tripod on the chair. Kitty always has to get on the chairs when I'm cleaning floors and hang out and watch me. Um, had great suction, and I noticed when I was using the attachment to do the floor, the top part didn't seem as heavy as when I was using the attachment to do the couch. It glided really well. It works really good. I would say it's the same quality as the Shark cordless vacuums, and I think they're about the same price. So I'm going to link the um, website Unless they get back to me, they haven't gotten back to me yet for a link they wanted me to share. Um, I'll get a link somehow to get to the vacuum. The model is, um, let me see here if it says, here we go. The S3 series. So like I said, I'll put a link down below. If you guys want to check it out, it's a really nice vacuum and I really love the base that you can sit it on to charge. So you don't have to take the battery off, find the cord, you just have your specific spot right on the base, you just put the vacuum right on and it starts charging. I really like that feature. So I need to let the boys in, they're outside with their dad. Their dad came home early from work. He's out listening to the radio here on the porch. You guys ready to come in? Whoa. It's slippery without rugs, Max. It's slippery without rugs, isn't it? All right. Going to mop the floor now and put the house back together. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and we will see you guys again in the next one. Bye-bye.